Upgrading your desk setup can be overwhelming. At least for me, it sometimes becomes a never ending search for the perfect item that's going to help boost my productivity and the overall look of the desk. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through a few items that I think are helpful for your desk setup, whether you are a student going back to school or working from home or just want to spice up your desk. Now, if you don't already have this, I think the most crucial upgrade to your desk setup is a desk pad, whether it's leather, felt, or any other material. Having a leather desk pad not only protects your desk from scratches and from color rings if you're setting cups on it, but it also offers just a nice look to the desk. I personally always enjoy the black leather desk mat on a lighter style desk. I think that this color contrast just looks really nice and the black also just pairs with the other black accents that I have throughout the setup. Now you can go the more budget option like I have here. This is from Amazon for $14. Or you can go on the more premium end, which is the Orbit Key desk mat. This is something that I've had for like three years and I've used this on all of my setups since I've had it and absolutely love it. Now, $100 is a lot for a leather desk mat. I realize that, but I just feel like the quality of the leather and the felt underside just feels really nice and natural when I'm using a mouse on it. At the end of the day, you're using this as a giant mouse pad. So you want something that feels nice and both of these feel nice for sure. I would say the higher end leather has a little more drag to it, but this cheaper option has less drag to it. So the mouse moves a little bit quicker without that resistance. It's all just, you know, micro adjustments that probably don't matter to most people. But I would say whether you're getting a $14 desk pad or a $100 desk pad, this is going to be a highly beneficial upgrade for you. Next up, and this is a pretty obvious upgrade, is the keyboard. The keyboard is like the center of your entire setup. Now, I definitely tend to go towards the low profile butterfly switch, smaller like Apple keyboards or the Logitech master keyboard. But I've been getting a lot of comments in my videos recommending that I try out mechanical keyboards. I've tried them in the past and I've just really never gotten into them. They don't really make sense to me just because I'm not used to typing on them, but I wanted to give it a shot. So I picked up the Keychron K6 wireless keyboard. I got this on Amazon for $74.99, or actually it was on sale for like $56, but now the normal price is like $74.99. And I'm very impressed with the build quality. I'm familiar with Keychron products. I've seen them on tons of other desk setups in the past. And this was recommended to me by a few people that said for the price, this is a solid option. What I like about it is I recently switched to a much smaller setup. My desk back here is only 48 inches long. So I went from a full keyboard with a numerical keypad on the side to just a more condensed 68 key keyboard. And it just fits really nice on the desk. I do love that boxy kind of old school style that the mechanical keyboard offers. But overall for the price point, I'm very impressed with how this keyboard looks and feels. Next up on our list of upgrades is your mouse. Now, I don't even know how many videos I've made about this mouse so far, but the Logitech Master 3 mouse is just the absolute goat. I've used this thing for years. Now, this is a $100 mouse, so not really in the budget range necessarily. In the past, I've also used the Razer Basilisk. I probably butchered that name, but the Razer Basilisk wireless mouse, and I believe it's like $50 or $60, and this thing's really nice feels great. It's a little bit on the lighter side. I feel like the build quality isn't as robust as the Master 3, but for the price, I could definitely recommend this. I think it's a great mouse and you can pick it up on Amazon or at Best Buy. I have found it at a bunch of different places. It's pretty easy to find. If you're using your desk setup for daily things, you are using audio for everything, whether it's listening to music, using it for editing your videos, whatever it is, audio is very important. And I've been going through a bit of an annoying search for the perfect desktop speakers for myself. For years, I have used the Edifier S2000 Pros. Now, I still love these speakers to this day. I still have them, but since I've downsized my desk, I don't really have the room to fit them on here. So after buying and returning, I wanna say like three different audio options, I ended up going with the Edifier R1280 dB bookshelf speakers. These are 42 watt, four inch speakers and I tried a few other small speaker options like the audio engines and some other three inch and 3.5 inch speakers. And I found that these four inch speakers offer the best low end for the size and wattage that they are. 
I listen to music at my desk all the time, so the quality of that music needs to be solid. I do need a solid amount of low end, especially in small speakers. With these, I found that it has a pretty solid range of low end. These come in at $150, and I think for that price point, you're getting a lot. They also just look really nice. I love this kind of old school look that they give. I feel like they're kind of the perfect size for this desk. Now, if you are looking for a more robust system, I would recommend the Edifier S2000s. I think they're on the Mark III at this point. And again, I still have the S2000s in my closet. I just can't fit them on this desk setup. So overall, if you need a beefy system, I would recommend maybe going that route. From the standpoint of just listening to music, watching YouTube videos and that everyday audio need, I think that these are the perfect fit. Whenever I'm not using my speakers, I'm using my headphones. Now, since I have a small desk, I don't really have the space to have a cool fancy headphone stand off to the side. So I found on Amazon this under desk headphone mount from Elevation Labs. It's just a plastic hook that you can stick under your desk using 3M adhesive. And it's just nice to know that my headphones are always going to be tucked away in a space where I can find them easily while not cluttering up the desk. And this mount was only $15. And the best way to keep everything organized is to make use of the sides and underside of your desk. So using a headphone clamp right here or using a laptop stand like this to keep your laptop off the desk and off to the side, especially if you're using it closed with an external monitor, there's always very easy and cost efficient ways to keep your desk setup clean and clutter free. Another thing I think is incredibly important for your desk setup is lighting. Over the years, I've kind of gone overboard with how I light my setups. Obviously, I'm filming YouTube videos, so there's one aspect of the lighting for my videos, but also I need just lighting for my desk setup. Whenever I'm in here at night, this needs to be lit in a way that doesn't feel overbearing. I want it to feel nice so I can get my work done and just feel comfortable in the space. So I have this lamp right behind me with the Philips Hue bulb in it. This is just a simple lamp that gives a nice diffused look. Any lamp with a lampshade on it is going to diffuse and soften your light. And that's very important when you're working in a space that has screens because you're always going to be fighting glare. You don't have to worry about that as much when you have a soft source, as long as it's not directly behind you and casting back onto the screen. I don't necessarily have a specific recommendation for this lamp, but I'll leave a few links in the description below with some options that I've put together. Now the ambient lighting in your office is one thing, but lighting the actual desk setup itself is also something to consider. On top of my monitor, I tend to keep the BenQ screen bar on here. It's always nice to illuminate the top of your desk if you're writing things at night or typing, whatever it is, it's just a direct source directly above, straight down onto the top of your desk. It comes with a wireless control so you can adjust the color temperature of it and the brightness. And the downside to this, of course, is the price. This is pretty pricey. It's $179, but there are budget options on Amazon. And I'm gonna leave a few links in the description for some cheaper options as well. But just to kind of give you an idea of what this style of light can offer, I think it's an important upgrade to consider. And now the final thing that I think is an important upgrade and is an obvious thing, this is one of the biggest topics on YouTube, cable management. The more stuff you have on your desk, the harder it is to keep it cable managed. Now, if you've seen my videos in the past, you've seen my setup have up to three monitors at a time or three monitors plus a completely other setup, it gets outrageous. So cable managing it is an absolute nightmare. Now I have a few budget cable management options that I would recommend to you. One being this plastic cable raceway. These are just plastic cable raceways that stick to the underside of your desk using 3M adhesive or double-sided tape. Using these cable raceways, it just kind of helps me easily run cables from one side to the other of the desk and keep them hidden and tucked up so they're not just dangling down on the floor because that just looks messy. Another thing I like to do is use cable sleeves. So when I'm running multiple cables from, let's say, a monitor down to my computer, I like to tuck them all together into a single sleeve so it just looks like a single cable running down. You obviously don't really want to see cables in your setup, but if you have to, it's better to see one cable than six different cables. So these little cable sleeves are incredibly cheap and very easy to make your desk setup just look top notch. And that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to compile a few items that I think are beneficial for your desk setup because again, I know how overwhelming it can be to build your setup and feel like you need to upgrade the best of the best and all this stuff. And again, like I have some nice stuff on this desk setup, but I also have some budget things that I think 
handle the job just as well as the more expensive option. So I left a link in the description with all of the items below if you're interested in picking them up for yourself. These are affiliate links, so of course I'll make a little bit of commission on them and I just use whatever little YouTube money I make to put back into these videos so I can make more of them for you all. But that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.